from the office of Fort Bend County Judge K.P. George this week in Commissioner's Court. Today, Fort Bend County Judge K.P. George and the Fort Bend County Commissioners kicked off the first of their new bi-monthly Commissioner's Court meeting. Fort Bend County Judge K.P. George requested a moment of silence in the chamber to honor the victims of the Covenant School shooting in Nashville. Announcements included the observance of Ramadan. The holiday is part of the Islamic calendar and is observed by Muslims worldwide from March 22nd to April 21st. Ladies, it's time to pull out those fascinators as Judge George announced his annual high tea and panel discussion to be held on Thursday, March 30th from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. at Jones Creek Ranch Park Lodge. Featured panelists include April Jones, president of Jones Consulting Services, Dakicha P. Shepard, COO and executive vice president of Costello, Trisha Krennick, Fort Bend County Justice of the Peace, Precinct 1, Place 2, and Coretta Middleton, Administrative Coordinator, Community Supervision and Corrections. Proclamations were given to Annissa Houston, a nonprofit organization serving the greater Houston area that works to empower, educate, and enrich the community by providing support, mental health care, educational programs, and the necessary assistance to help clients regain self-sufficiency in recognition of Women's History Month. And to the American Red Cross, in honor of March being American Red Cross Month. We encourage all citizens of Fort Bend County to reach out and support the Red Cross's humanitarian mission. Highlights from court include appointments for the county judge's office, Commissioner Morales and Commissioner Myers. With Angelique Bartholomew being appointed to the Gulf Coast Rail District Board, effective through March 28, 2024. Mark Williams being appointed to the Fort Bend County Emergency Services District No. 3 Board of Directors until December 31st, 2023. And Stacy Bynes appointed to the Library Advisory Board for the term of March 28, 2023 through December 31st, 2025. Agenda item number 27 from the county attorney to take action on the creation of the Fort Bend County Public Facilities Corporation. Initiated by Precinct 2 Commissioner Prestige, this standalone corporation nonprofit can be created by a sponsoring government entity. PFCs have broad powers over public facilities, including financing, acquisition, construction, rehabilitation, renovation, and repair. Commissioner Prestige cited a need for redevelopment in the Fresno community that would include new housing for multi- and single-family use. The measure passed unanimously. Our furry friends will benefit from Agenda Item 30, from Health and Human Services, to enter into an interlocal agreement between Fort Bend County and the City of Sugarland to provide reciprocal veterinary services for pets in both shelters, effective April 1st, 2023 through March 31st, 2028. Our Fort Bend County Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Management will have another team member as a full-time position for an emergency manager passed unanimously. This concludes your Commissioner's Court update for this week. Commissioner's Court is scheduled to meet bi-monthly. The next court will be held on April 11th at 1 p.m. on the second floor of the historic Fort Bend County Courthouse in Richmond, Texas.